In this four-part series, I'm going to show you how to set up a button inside Zoho CRM to automatically send contracts to clients and have those contracts update the CRM once they're signed. In this video, we're going to be setting up a merged template inside Zoho Writer. By the end of this video, you should have a merge template created that can be used with a button in Zoho CRM to send to a client an invoice or a, a contract. What you're going to need in order to make this work is Zoho CRM, as you see I have that here, and Zoho Writer. So in Writer, I have a, uh, I created a, a, a document. So this is an example contract, right? I hereby agree to this contract. I agree to give $1 billion uh, in exchange for nothing because they're such great people, right? This is everyone's ideal contract. So if this was a contract, we would need to do a few things. One is we need to put the name of the person signing up here after this first I, and we need to put the name of the company that is the receiving down here, right? And so this one, the company should be fixed, but this up here, the I hereby agree, is going to be um, dependent on, on, on the customer, you know, the person receiving the contract. So this is the part where we're going to want to put a merge field in, and then down here, we're going to want them to sign, and then down here, we're going to want to sign, right? We as in the party uh, sending out the contract. So um, let's start with this template here. I'm going to click in the top left, the settings or the, the whatever this is called, and go down to automate. In automate, there's, there's three options, merge template and sign template. So sign template would be the things that we're doing down here, um, would be things that the receiving party is going to have to input themselves, right? So for example, a signature is going to be one of those things, right? But up here for I hereby agree to this contract and this here, we're going to put in um, a merge template, which means these, this is information that gets put into this contract template. So let's start right here, right? I'm going to click edits, right? Delete this. And then the first thing we're going to, we're going to want to do is create a field. So let's create a plain text field. Here are the types of fields you can use. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to use a plain text and the designation we're going to be called um, customer underscore name, right? Let's go to create. And then now that we have this here, we're going to, we're going to click it and then have a paste. So now let's say I customer name hereby agree to this contract. I agree to give company and let's make another one. Let's go to create field. Let's go, uh, company. Um, any underscore name. Click save. I hear, but I, I agree to give company to give company company name, 1 billion, 1 billion in exchange for nothing because they're such great people. Right? So now when we merge in this data, we can say, Hey, I want the customer name to be this. And I want the company name to be this. Right? Now, before it gets sent out, we do need space for them to the, the, the receiving party to sign as well as it's going to need to be countersigned. Now, this is a preference thing, but I always like to sign first, right? This way I can check to make sure the contract merged properly, uh, but that's optional. We're going to be talking about that in the next video. So I'm now going to click save down the bottom left here, save, and it brings me back to this sign template thing. So I'm going to click right in front of this date. So let's go to prepare. Let's add signers. There are two signers. I'm going to click signer two and I'm going to put, let's see, I, I click signer two, insert fields for signer two. I'm going to click date, sign date. And then down here, I'm going to click signature, right? So this means that they're signer two and I'm going to be signer one. So then I'm going to click signer one up here. I'm going to click date, sign date, and signature. And then again, I'm going to click save. 
save. Now we have a contract, a merge template contract ready to go, right? And in our next video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate this into your Zoho CRM so that you can click one button and have it merged.